In this video, I'll show you the new Tracer 2D visual for Power BI. You can select the Tracer 2D icon to add it to the canvas and resize as needed. For this example, we'll use rooms to create a 2D visual. So we'll navigate to that section of our data and select the location GeoJSON information and add it to the geometry field. If you're familiar with our 3D visual, you might be looking for mesh to add to the geometry field, but the 2D visual is a little bit different and it accepts location GeoJSON information instead. It's important that we also add the location GeoJSON information to the geometry for highlighting field. That will allow the visual to interact with the other visuals on the canvas. For example, if I select a line of data in one of the charts next to the visual, it will highlight that data within the 2D visual. For this example, we would like to label the rooms with their room number or section number in this case. So we'll navigate to that section of our data, select it and drop it into the category field. This will show us that each of the rooms are randomly colored by their room number. It also adds a tooltip to the visual so that when you hover over a room, the room number is highlighted. The next step will be to add the labels to the visual. We'll go to the Format Your Visual tab and scroll down to the Labels area. We can drop down the label menu and we can give the labels a custom appearance. We can adjust the background color or turn the background off. We can adjust clipping of the elements, which we can demonstrate by increasing the text size for a second. Take a look at section 119 as an example. Because clip by element is toggled off, you can see all of the numbers even where they are extending past the edge of the room. If we toggle clip by element on, it will clip the element so that it is only visible inside of the room. We can adjust the text size so that it fits, and we can adjust the font. The elements themselves can also be adjusted we have the option to toggle off or on the polygon edges. We can change the color of the edges and we can adjust the edge thickness. We can also adjust the colors of the data. When we drop down data style and set style to categorical, we have the option to give each of the different data names or data categories their own custom appearance. It only takes a moment to go in and adjust each of the colors so that they work best for your visual. For the sake of time, I'll jump to a duplicate where I've already completed it. You can see that there are a lot of options for how the visual can appear. If we jump back into data style, in addition to categorical, you'll see that in version three, we have a new option for single or rule. When you switch from categorical to singular rule, your visual might turn white. That's because the default color is set to white here and it will format everything in that default color. You have the ability to change and use this single formatting to any color. We can select the function key to open the conditional formatting menu. For this example, we'll use gradient as the format style, but we also have the option to use rules or field value. We can select any numerical data to base this field on. Let's use seat price for this example. We'll sum the seat prices together for each of the different sections. We'll leave out sections that don't have any data. We'll set the minimum number and the maximum number. We can even add a middle color. So you can see that the data has been recolored in order to respond to those values. Another way that we can enhance the visual is by adding a tooltip so that we know what each of these different colors mean. We can go back to the Build Visual panel, scroll down to Tooltips, and add the information that we used into the Tooltip panel. Similarly, we can remove section number from the category field, and we can add revenue-based data. This will change the labels as they appear. And then if we want to see the section number, we can add that to the tooltip. So now when we hover over different sections, we can see the section numbers. 
we can go back into our format panel and adjust our labels so that they're a bit more legible. We hope this video shows you that there are many different options for how you can set up the 2D visual and customize it to suit your needs.